Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, mga Matibay students! <laughs> Taas ng energy! Welcome to Matibay class! Oh, mas matagal energy mo, kapatid! Kumusta mo, Tintin? Mabuting, 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 mabuti! How about you, Sir Jason? Super mabuti! At Na, syempre, mabuti, mabuti kapatid, na ngayon. kapatid, very thankful ako at masaya wow. dahil mataas ang result ng exam yeah. ng ating mga anak. So, congratulations guys. In all guys. fairness, ibig sabihin, super effective pa rin ang video, video discussion. discussion. So, oh. let us now proceed with module 12 and it is all about Calculating the small sample confidence interval estimate for mean <laughs> when the standard deviation is unknown. unknown. Parang nabuta ka lang. Oo nga. And, take note ma'am, nasa module 12 na tayo. Yes, module 12 na tayo, ang bilis. And, after ng module 12, ano susunod? Module 15 and 16, ang susunod dyan. Oo, alam mong dahil yung 12, 13 natin ay? 13, 14 ma'am, exam. Exam, baka magtaka sila. 14 is quiz, pero tingnan natin. And, we have objectives. Una is to compute the small sample confidence interval estimate for population and standard for mean when standard deviation is unknown. Kulang. And of course, our second objective is to solve problems that involve a small sample confidence interval estimation. estimation. At bago tayo magpatuloy, Ma'am Tintin, may mga nagpapashout out. Ay, oo nga pala. Uh -oh. Grade 11, STEM 22 and 23 ng Yupang Main High Hello. Mag-aral kayong mabuti Ako mga din, shout out daw sa lahat ng STEM students, sa lahat ng ABM students, at sa lahat ng GAS students, TVL programming, TVL kukiri. Para walang magtelo. Ng Yupang? <laughs> ng Yupang or Daneta. Kaya may Yupang College or Daneta. Oh, sa mga gusto magpa-shout out na <laughs> section, <laughs> then sabihin nyo lang kung gusto nyo yung comment individual, down below, comment down below <laughs> sa ating YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, so yan ang ating objectives. And, ayan. When we say a small sample confidence interval for mean, when standard deviation is unknown, mga anak, if X and S are the mean and standard deviation of a random sample wherein N is less than 30 from an approximate normal population with a known standard deviation wherein A, 100 times 1 minus A percent confidence interval for mean is given by Ayan, so, so X bar minus T value sub A all over 2 Actually, this is our confidence uh -huh. interval. Uh, kung, maaala, kung maalala ninyo yung sa z-value natin, pinalitan lang ganito, natin yung t. Ganito po yung pagkakaayos ng formula, pinalitan lang natin yung z ng t. Ng t. Okay. So, yan, yan. So, this is still our um, degrees of uh -huh. freedom. Uh -huh. Degrees okay. of freedom. Gagamitin pa rin natin yung 90%. 95% and 99%. Yes. So, ayun. Um, subtraction yung unang part and addition naman yung pangalawa. Sabi ko nga, yung Z values, pinalitan lang natin dito ng T. Okay. At mainitin na natin yan mamaya maya lang. Uh -uh. And, o oh, yan na. That's all. Para At para mas maintindihan, let's proceed on our examples. examples. Okay, para mas maintindihan, unahin natin ang formula. So, Naalala niyo yung formula natin last time kay Z distribution lang. table, pinalitan lang, pareho lang. Ang pinagkaiba lang is yung letter T dahil T distribution table tayo ngayon. At may degrees of freedom tayo ngayon. Yeah, degrees of freedom. So, take note, meron tayong negative or minus lang dito sa kabila. At sa kabila is plus or positive lang. Ayan, so we have min minus critical value or t-value times standard deviation all over square root of n and sa kabila, mean plus t-value times standard deviation all over square root of n where x bar is equal to mean t sub a over 2 times n minus 1 or yung n minus 1 natin, yung sa critical value kanina, kukunin natin ang t-value as our standard deviation and n is our sample size. Para mas maintindihan, let's proceed with our first example. Ayan. So, first, first example natin, given na lahat, s is equal to 6, n is equal to 20, mean is equal to 25, critical level is 90%. All we need to do is to substitute. So, i-substitute natin Sa ating formula, which is our x, at ang x natin dito ay, ayan, 25. So, 25 minus t sub a all over 2, 
and our n is 21. Kunin muna natin siya, t sub a all over 2, n minus 1. But our n here is? 20. 20. So, para makuha natin yung degrees of freedom, n minus 1 natin, 20 minus 1 is equal to? 19. 19. And our confidence level is? Nine. Confidence level is? 90. So, yung shortcut na tinuro namin kanina, para mas madali tayo when it comes to solving, hanapin mo 90% at ang ating degrees of freedom ay 19. Tama po? So, ito po ang ating sagot. Ayan. Again, 3 decimal points. Tama, Sir Jason? Mm -hmm. 3 decimal points. So, ang ating... 1.729. Sagot ay 1.729. Yung 1.729, yun na ngayon ang gagamitin natin. So, yun ang isusubtract natin. We have 1.729. Since nakuha na natin yan, i-multiply natin si S or standard deviation, which is 6 all over square root of... Don't forget the square root sign, 20. And then, sa kabila, yung subtraction, papalitan lang ng addition. So, we have 25 plus 1.729 times 6 all over square root of 20. Using our calculator, again, kung papaano sinulat, ganun din po dapat ang pagkakasunod-sunod. So, unahin natin sa negative. We have 25 minus... 1, sorry, ulit, 25 minus 1.729 times fraction, we have 6 all over square root of 20. We have, ayan, ilang decimal point kukunin? Tatlo. Tatlo. So, for negative, we have 22.680. Okay. And for positive, yung subtraction dyan, papalitan mo lang ng plus. Ayan, we have 27.320. Ayan, so yung round off natin, since 19 yan, kukunin natin 20. Are, so we say that we, we are... We are, are na lang. We are... Ang conclusion natin, we are... 90. Ilan yung confidence level mo? 90%. 90% no? confident, confident that the mean will be between. Yeah. That our mean or that the mean is in between. Tama po? Is between. Walang yung in. Ayan. Sorry na. <laughs> is between 22.680 Shopee and 27.3. <laughs> 20. So, yun ang ating interpretation for example, number... Okay. What if true problem naman, ma'am? Word problem. Okay, word problem naman. Let's read our word problem or example number 2. Measurements are made on a random sample of 23 components drawn from a population size of 100. Assume that the population is normal and the, me the mean measurement of the components in the sample are 67.45 mm with a standard deviation of 2.93 mm. Okay? Let's determine a 95% confidence interval for an estimate of the mean of the population. In every word problem, we need to analyze it. Okay, and we need to extract the important values, isn't it? Yeah. All we have to do is to get the important values. Ano yung mga yun? Standard deviation. Of course, deviation. ang kailangan natin sa ating formula, which are standard deviation, which is random sample, sample size. or sample size, mean, and the confidence level. Okay, based on our problem, okay, it is given that our standard deviation is equal to 2. 93. Okay? While our sample size or N is equal to 23. Take note mga anak that N ay always ka kasunodyan or kasunodyan ng word na random sample. Yeah. So this is 23. 23. Okay? Our mean is what? Sabi sa problem, our mean measurement, measurement is, is 67.45. And confidence level of? 95%. 95%. Okay? Using our formula, ito yung mapapakita ko lang yung formula natin, kailangan muna natin kunin ito. Yeah. 
Am I right? Yeah. And to get that one, kailangan natin ng confidence level in N minus 1 or degrees of freedom, isn't it? Take note that our um, confidence level is 95%. Sulat ko lang ulit. And N is equal to 23, but 23 minus 1 is equal to? 22. 22. Using our table, their intersection is. We have 95%. Shortcut tayo. Nakikita yung 95%. Yeah. And our degrees of freedom is 22. Ito po yung 22. Imimit natin or intersect natin. Yun. We have 2.074. Isn't it, Ma'am Tintin? Yeah. Kasi kasunod niya ay 8. So this yeah, is? 2.074. Because of that, we are now ready to solve for our answer. Okay? Using our formula... We have now X. Anong X natin, ma'am? 23. Ay, sorry, sorry. 67.45. 67 equal to 67.45 minus. Kasi minus po yun. Yeah. Okay. We have 2.074 to your intersection nila. Times standard deviation is 2.93 all over square root of N. But our N is 23. Nakasunod, Ma'am Tintin? Yeah. Next, papalitan lang po natin ng plus yung minus. This is 67.45. Kailangan mong liitin yung sulat. Plus, kailangan kong liitan talaga. 2.074 <laughs> times... 2.93. Oh, nakasurvive. 2.93 all over the square root of... 23. 23. Yeah. <laughs> Using our calculator, kung ano ang pagkakasulat, yun, yun ang pagkakapindot. Okay? So we have now 67.45 minus 2.074. Teka lang. 67.45 minus 2.074 times fraction 2.93 all over the square root of 23. Close. Sulat natin si 66.183. 66.183. Papalitan lang po natin ng plus si minus. Tama mong tintin? Opo. Papalitan ko lamang po ng plus si minus equal to 68.72. Therefore, therefore, Our interpretation is we are ilang percent we are ninety five percent confident that that the mean the mean is is between sixty six point one eight three And 68.717. Oh, kasi... Oh, 717, sige. 717, tatlo na lang, ma'am. Para standard tayo. 717. Again, three digits right after the decimal point. This is our interpretation. This is our answer. Thank you, mga anak.